You okay there? It's Tim G5TM back for another one. And if you're new to the channel, think about clicking that subscribe button or the notification bell for any future videos. Anyway, I've been messing around on 10 meters these past uh, couple of weeks and I've had an absolute ball. And the antenna I've been using is a real piece of scrap coax. Let me show you what I've been doing. Now the antenna I'm going to tell you about is something I've covered before and I'll put a link to that video up there. It's basically a half wave homebrew antenna for 10 meters. So the setup has been really, really simple. Just a very basic little base to put the pole in, which is basically a bit of PVC pipe, which I think is about 50 millimeters diameter, just a couple of inches. That was up a couple of feet. Got some Jubilee clips or hose clamps, whatever you call them, with some cable ties or zip ties, again, whatever you call them. Bit of paracord, a few guy stakes, bang, dead easy to pull up. Uh, the pole itself is a seven metre fibreglass pole and the antenna, which I'll show you in a minute, basically is going right at the top of the pole, goes down to about two metres off the ground. The antenna itself is basically made out of one uh, length of coax, a bit of tape on the end, ignore that. This is basically a stripped back bit of coax, the inner dielectric. This is two and a half metres long. <clears throat> for those of you in the States, what's that? Well, uh, about eight eight. 0.8 feet three or something anyway two and a half meters long then you got it's just weatherproofed a bit really but you just got the inner coax and the normal coax i should say the untouched coax goes down to about 2.47 meters you can make it equal if you want it's not gonna make a big difference and then we've got the choke which chokes off the common mode so when this the rest of the coax from there by the way just goes to your transceiver you can have as much of this as you want to you can have a little pigtail or you can run about 30, 40, 50 feet of it, 20 meters of it, whatever you want. The coax itself is wound around a 110 millimeter pipe, which is about four and a quarter inches, four turns, round and round. That's got it taped together to keep it sort of fairly together. And it keeps, a, keeps it fairly well. And uh, that's it. That's all the antenna is. It'll operate any, it'll operate, I should say, as well as any, there you go, as any other half wave, okay? Now, the thing is mounted about two metres off the ground. Being a half wave, you don't need any radials. And it's worked splendidly with some of the really great openings we've had on SSB on 10 metres in the past week or so. Golf 5, Tango, Mexico. Golf 5, Tango, Mexico. I think I got that one right. You're on the noise floor. The name is Rob with 5 and 4. Let's hold him. Hi, Rob. No problem. 5 and 5, 55 QSL. QS holder 5 and 5, I can just copy you, Tim. I think you're probably the last contact of the day. The band has completely fallen over on the ear. I can got virtually no copy on anybody. Tim, thank you, Tim. Thanks for the contact in good year. Okay, Germany 5, Tango, Mike. Uh, uh, real good. Uh, this is Whiskey Golf 3, Charlie. Uh, nice signal here to Maryland. Go ahead. Mike? Golf 5, Golf 5, Tango, Mike. Thank you. A little bit of a coughing spell there. You're five and nine. Over. Oh, Roger. I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you're okay. I thought you couldn't hear me over the QRM. No problem. You're five and nine as well. Her name is Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Whiskey three. India, Charlie, Mike. Five, Tango, Mike. You're five and nine. Thank you. You're five and seven. Fifty-seven. Uh, QSL. Thank you for the five and seven for that, please. So as you can see, look, uh, who have we got in the log? And this is in the last week. All right. So South Africa was on Saturday, that was a nice one. A few then into Europe, band went quiet on uh, Thursday, I think that was. Look on Wednesday, the 27th of April. That was when we had a great opening in the evening into North and South America. So we've got Venezuela, Guadeloupe, a few into the States. I was working, um, I was calling CQ on the ones below those there and worked a few stations, great fun. Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, US Virgin Islands, Canada, uh, those ones in the States again, Canary Islands, Brazil, Western Sahara, those are different days then. Um, and uh, Uruguay as well at the bottom there with Israel. So, you know, um, a pretty uh, decent set of contacts overall, considering what the antenna is, it's done really well. And just goes to show you, as I said just now, you don't need a great antenna to work the X on 10. And if you want to have a really enjoyable next few years with the sunspot cycle, really climbing its way up to the peak now in the next few years, and 10 meters, 12, 15, they could be the places to be. You don't need big antennas to have some 
really good fun on those higher HF bands. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it's wet your appetite to go on to 10 meters and try some DX yourself from home or wherever you want to operate. Um, if you want to click subscribe, if you haven't yet, that'll be fantastic to have you on board. But anyway, here's my next video coming up here and uh, you take care and maybe see you on the bands. Bye-bye now.